Hey, what's good, guys? It's Cameron. Today, I've got a really unique build for you guys. This is a crazy 6'8 back end power forward build. Uh, this build is overall really, really solid, and in my opinion, is the perfect big for threes or that perfect power forward, small forward for Pro Am or the Rec. Um, so, to kind of dive in on what makes this build so unique, it does have an 86 pass accuracy. That's for gold break starter. Uh, this just lets you have better outlet passes um, if you crash offensive boards or you get a steal, anything like that, your passing is just a lot more crisp. Um, the really cool thing about this build is it does have Hall of Fame Interceptor um, as well as Terrence Mann Base, which in my opinion is right up there with T-Mac uh, for spot ups, ridiculously quick. Um, right there, 28% contest green, little step back, really, really good jumper. Um, the build also has gold rebound chaser, gold chase down artist, silver anchor, um, and overall is just, in my opinion, the perfect 6-8 back end for how I play. Um, the build has 90 strength, gets athletic hangs off one, and overall is just an extremely versatile defender. Um, you can create on offense, you can do the speed boost, you can do all that stuff with this build, which is amazing. Um, and the final really cool piece about this build is it's just called a hybrid defender. So I spent a few hours in the lab really working to get this build to be hybrid defender and not, you know, a two-way diming mid-range threat, mid-range threat, um, spot up threat or anything like that. I wanted this build to still have a little bit of a catfish effect and just have a cleaner name. Uh, but kind of switching gears, I did want to take a second to thank everybody for the support this game cycle. Um... About ready to hit 900 subs, which is insane. Um, I'm just going to keep pushing out the content. Um, trying to get the all build list out earlier. Uh, and NBA 2K25. Um, and it just means the world to me to be able to share my passion for making these builds with all of you. So thank you so much for all the support, all the feedback this uh, game cycle. Um, and just stay tuned for next year. And yeah, so now let's kind of dive into how to make this build. So again, with this build, you're going to want to be a 6'8 power forward, uh, weight 249 pounds, wingspan 7'5. Uh, the 7'5 wingspan is very important because that's basically the threshold of 6'8 to get uh, Hall of Fame Interceptor. Um, and overall can just really change how this build works. So uh, when you're looking at the finishing, basically 65 driving dunk, 40 standing dunk, you've got athletic hangs off one. And you've got your basic standing dunk packages. Um, if you didn't want free throw, I'm sure you could drop that to uh, get the standing dunk to 45 to get all the basic ones. Uh, you go 86 mid-range. This gives you gold open looks. You have gold catch and shoot, silver blinder, silver dead eye, um, all that stuff. And this threshold is very important. Um, I'm going to go over the animations after this, but you do get Terrence Mann jump shot base. Uh, which, in my opinion, is up there with T-Mac, especially for spot-ups. 77-3 um, ball, kind of my minimum threshold I feel comfortable with in the game. You can go 76 if you want to, uh, but I just went 77. 72 free throw, um, you know, if you want 96 stamina, 100% do that. Um, me, personally, I just kind of wanted to try to maximize my free throw. 86 pass, so this may be odd. Obviously, 89 is for Halliburton. 87 is for bronze bailout, uh, but I, I'm super, I'm, I'm very obsessed with build names, so I, I didn't want this build to be a diming, two-way diming mid-range threat, uh, two-way diming spot-up threat, anything like that. I wanted to keep the hybrid defender name, uh, so that's why I went 86. You do get gold break starter, as well as silver needle threader, silver touch passer, silver dimer, all that good stuff, um, and it, it definitely makes a difference going from 77 to 86, in my opinion, especially on the outlet passes. Uh, 51 ball handle, 40 speed, so you get all normal dribble sigs, um, and you get normal dribble style, so again, if you want to do those little speed boosts to get open from three, you 100% can do it on this build. 85 interior is a name threshold, so if that goes any lower, it will just be a two-way mid-range threat, probably. Um, was going to go 88, but frankly, I don't think uh, gold post lock makes a huge difference. Um, and if you mess with this interior stat a little bit or raise a few things, I'm sure you would be able to get like a hybrid lockdown defender for your name as well if you want that. Um, I went 88 perimeter defense solely for gold 94 feet. Um, when I play perimeter defense, especially if I'm on a 6'8", 
Um, I like to be really physical, really bumpy, and that basically can let you get some of those accidental bump seals um, and anything like that. You also have gold challenger silver clamps, and you move really, really well on this build. 95 steel, Hall of Fame interceptor, gold glove, gold ride stick ripper. Um, really, really good value. And again, the fact that you get Terrence Mann base at 6'8 and 95 steel is insane. Um, I went 87 block for gold chase down silver anchor just to increase the defensive versatility of the build. Uh, 93 defensive rebound for Hall of Fame box out beast gold rebound chaser. If you're playing threes, um, you're going to love the gold rebound chaser. And even if you're playing fives, just being that other option that can grab rebounds is huge. But again, if you don't necessarily want 93, you could drop that to 85. You can do whatever with that. Um, 80 speed, 70 excel, basically just maxed these out, trying to be as quick as possible with this build. 90 strength for gold immovable enforcer, as well as Hall of Fame box out beast. 80 vert for gold chase down, gold pogo, and 95 stamina on this build. Overall, it's just insanely good in my opinion it's the perfect back end you've got the draymond shades ak-47 and al horford and the build comes out as a hybrid defender um again all about the catfish build names very late in the year um you know i lab this thing out for a couple hours and just said whatever i'll, I'll make a couple more builds this year um, but this could be a great blueprint for next year's game as well um, so now let's kind of dive into my jump shot with the build to break that down because um, I really feel like it's probably the best Terrence Mann jump shot base um, and release combo you can use. So again, I mean, animation wise, got that Rick Berry free throw, Pro 2 pull up, DeMar spin, Harrison Barnes hop jumper, Kobe fade, post hook doesn't matter, post hop Kobe, motion style Drew Eubanks, which is the fastest motion style according to uh, 2K Toots. John Morant pass style, um, again, once you have the 40 speed with ball and you have the 40 ball handle, you can get all the normal dribble sigs. Really though, you can still get an okay speed boost if you time it properly with the basic sigs as well. Um, and then I went Joel and B triple threat just for cleaner catch animations. Um, looking at the jump shot, here it is. You've got Terrence Mann base, Oscar Robertson one, Troy Brown Jr. two. Uh, max speed 63 Oscar 37 Troy Brown Jr. Extremely quick jump shot um, and off the catch especially it's so easy to time still easy to time fades with this as well step backs all that stuff and again dunk wise very very basic I do have athletic hangs off two athletic hangs off one and you've got your two handed under basket regular standing dunks as well on this build you do have a few other basic packages but this is primarily what i run on the build uh so yeah that's all i've got for you guys thank you so much for watching um again really really appreciate the support this year's game cycle gonna keep the momentum going for next game more rare builds all build guide done way sooner um and just staying consistent you know i absolutely love making rare builds and it's just amazing to me that i have an audience that also loves seeing rare builds and kind of talking the builder so thank you guys so much for watching hope everyone has a great day peace